Okay, week 15. We take on the Jaguars in our online connected franchise league. Playoffs are just around the corner. Let's take a look at the picture here. So we have two teams here. The Cowboys and the Jaguars, both in the playoff mix. This should be a battle till the end. Make sure you stay tuned. I hope you like and I hope you enjoy. Get it, bro. With a December snow blanketing much of the Midwest and Northeast, what a perfect time to be in the Sunshine State as we welcome you to TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville, Florida. Today, we reach week 15, and we've got a good matchup in store between the Dallas Cowboys and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Charles and I have been looking forward to this one all week. And off we go from Jacksonville. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. Uh, everyone's tired. All right, let's take a different approach then. We need to get off to a good start here. Let's see if we can start fast. First play, and Wilson wants to throw it. Man okay. Is Keelan Cole complete? And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just hmm. space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. pass here okay. oh. and just no chance of turning the corner he can only get back to the line of scrimmage okay, that's what I wanted Second to see and ten coming up Let's put some fresh legs in there Looking to throw on second down. Wilson. And here is a leaping catch. He pulled it in. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. And early on, they're picking up right where they left off last week. And I know a lot of coaches say each game is its own. You don't really have carryover. This feels like carryover. So much confidence from the previous game that they're using to their advantage now. They'll run for the first time with Tim okay. and Coleman. I like so, that. CD, this defense, they know that they have to be at their very best when they're taking on a team here that's in the midst of a winning streak that's now stretched over multiple months, not weeks, months. I think the challenge they put upon themselves is we want to be the guys to end that streak. And what's working in their favor, the winning streak on the other side. Sometimes that carries a burden with it because they feel like they have to play perfectly as well. Let's just go out there and get them is the idea. Still a few okay. inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. I'll check something here. Hmm. It's a game okay, so I tried outside. And it'll be a down 
Bills first down. Didn't get much. Second and inches is oftentimes. So I tried inside. Didn't get much there either, but I got the first down. Down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are. Stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. So from the 36 now, first and 10. This time Wilson will throw. Got a man, that's Lazard. Who had a lot of time there. Down at about the 23 yard line. Another completion right there. And again, Charles, good time in the pocket. That offensive line on this opening drive been really solid they've been more than solid they've really tamped down the pass rush and kept him safe in the pocket able to look around find his target and deliver he's got to make sure he tells the offensive line in the huddle thanks fellas let's keep it going let's see if we can keep it going they'll run with Coleman on first get out of my way it's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. The last run got six, now second and four. Play action. Now Wilson sliding out of the pocket. Well, Let's go. On the crossing route, Gallup. Touchdown. Michael Gallup with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Cowboys will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Okay, that was a good drive. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. I like that. And this is up and good to make it 7 0 Cowboys. Let's see if we can put a stop together on defense. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And ultimately he stayed right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Okay, so we've got some tired legs again. We'll play them a little bit and then we'll start switching them. Depending on how on how we do, how he does too. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And he's gonna get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal. Get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They'll run it again with Fournette. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, they were fantastic a week ago in that win over Houston. And that's not the half of it. They forced seven turnovers in that game, and I know we always talk about turnovers coming in bunches once you force the first one, but seven? That seems almost impossible, but we watched it happen. Let's see if we can get a stop right here. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Cousins on third and two. He completes it to Julio Jones. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 14 yards through the air. Caught the D off guard on third and one. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play, won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. 
on defense. Oh. He's experiencing some lag issues over there. knew it they were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted let's put some fresh legs in on the d-line now let's see if that won't help Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. Cousins now from the 50. And he fires one, but incomplete. A lot of All times right. that first read that you have, Good stop maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Okay, so we get the ball back and see if we can score now. Again. Back deep, Jakeem Grant. He punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And did they oh. keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes oh. one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over. That was a nice over. punt. Have that down. It repeats under pressure. They Come on. The drive with Coleman. <clears throat> and now where are they going to mark him here? Well, they say he did get back to the one yard line, but that could have easily been two points the other Come way. On. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. Because I remember playing in these spots, and my coaches always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll go toss oh, no. right with Coleman. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. I stayed going outside. That's a safety. Better than the first. Just a gain of one there. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way they did it. Run there, bro. There. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Now Wilson back into his end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown. Get your hand on the ball. Defense and completely shut them down to force a three and out. And he's able to get it out of there. And this is a pretty good kick. Taken from just outside the 30. Call that one an even 60 yard 6 0. Yeah. 60 yard punt. Let's go with some speed here.
Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. On play action, Cousins. A pass underneath for Fournette. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. This is Hines. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. The Jaguars hit 7-6, and six, a game over 500 on the year. Well, they were losers last time out, trying to turn things around here in this one. And it always helps to have a home crowd behind you, giving you encouragement as long as you give them something good to cheer about. So, you know, they just want to come out and play well for their faithful, and I expect them to do just that. Play action now, Cousins. Man open. And now look at this. Oh, let's go. Let's go. That's picked up by the Cowboys. Let's go. And he'll bring oh. this one back to the 29. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they Number had one an extra defense in the league right here. More secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You may Ooh, he ripped it out of there. That was sweet. See some open field and decide you're going for it. And not realizing the danger lurks. that one out of there. So, and there's your end result right there. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. So sick. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles. Get on that fullback. There we go. They, punted, they would love to get Let's points, go. Especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like. That because worked the right pressure there. Pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher. On the team with a slight edge because yeah. they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Throw some more body punches. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Let's go. Coleman between the tackles and he'll be tackled right on the midfield logo eight yards on the pickup and now they'll have some options on second and short and there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps you don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon let's see Eight yards, the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They will run again. Let's go. Coleman. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Seven yards there and a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Okay. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. I only was starting to move the ball a little bit. It's his defense. Wasn't letting us run. Our line's starting to move. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Okay. That's just a pile of body 
everybody's there, and that's when you kind of find out man. who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk involved. away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Mismatch here. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Flushed out right. There we go. He'll get this to Let's Lazard. go. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 14. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, right, then your on, defense boys. is going to be in a lot of trouble. you got to get into the end zone. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. Okay. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. Ball on the 8. It's second and 4. There we go. Now it's Wilson. They'll roll him out right. Just run. Just run. And he's able to get this down to the five yard line before he's out of bounds. And wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. I did like his decision making. Right, one yard, make sure we can get a yard right here. Instead of forcing a throw. Now they get one man's play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it huh. and runs again. Give us a yard here. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. Good the stop. Going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go no, in the first no, half. Let's play. kick it. He's playing good defense. Let's kick it. Let's take a two possession lead. Now no, Harrison Bucker stop. for the field goal try from the right hash here. Should be an easy. I don't want to lose points. Bucker's kick here is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx it. some defense here for 28 seconds. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. I wonder if he's going to try to take a shot. The Jacksonville shot here. offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Final play of the half, Cousins. Yeah. And that is incomplete. Okay. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0. As we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Jaguars with work to do. They trail here as we are back underway on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. He's going to try the Wildcat. Okay. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. 
And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. On second and a couple. Cousins. He'll get oh, this no. to Cooper Cup. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Jaguars. Cooper Cup, 67 yards. And the Jaguars come right out of the locker room and score Good play, bro. the opening minute of the third quarter. He juked me on that one. You might not like to see that, but from the wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts. <laughs> All right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in Big Sky Country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. That was a nice the play. The team on the field now as they will send this one away. He got me on that one. Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line. Okay. Point lead now, so about set for this. If we can get some kind of like offense and maybe some renewed pressure chunk on this year following the touchdown a moment ago, it's back to a one move. score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a ah. one score game, they know this is where you need to slow I'll take it though. I was trying to get more. That could overrun I was hoping they were gonna all go for the sweeper. Right here. With that kind of run on first down. That's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. On second down, it's Coleman. Let's go. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. How is that not a first? It's a six-yard run. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. I don't see how that was not a first. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. They'll try and run for this with Mack. And this is going to be right, a Cowboys first, first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Brad, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because... They handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Touch pass as they tap it quickly. No, to their going. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. Hmm. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. On second and nine, Wilson buying time to his left. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Up 
partner just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. And the Jags have five in the secondary here on third down. the play fake here's Wilson here we go he's got his man it's Andrews and he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion I know I spent a lot of time talking about how tight ends in a lot of cases now are pumped up wide receivers but they're still big people and he used that frame right there to absorb a really big hit on him and held on to the ball Jeez. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Short gain down to about the 33. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. That's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through, and has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman, and he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. But well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. Stay on the ground. <sighs> it's Coleman. And he'll get this one down to about the 20. run defense is tough. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit. He tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. What a game. Watching the NFL on EA Sports. Come on, old line. You gotta open up something here. Only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. I think four. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all see. over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right, it might go to them in this game. I like that, MVU. Well done. On third down, Wilson. 
Oh, no. He overdrew him. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he first wow, the bro. Like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. A golden opportunity for them now following the interception. They need to try to at least get three. Obviously, a touchdown uh -huh. a more secure position. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. Call that a very strong gain of 24. But just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, Come on, D, let me gotta get some pressure. Has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated mm. well and it turned into a nice play. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. Mm. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A gain of five, okay. good enough for the first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss Keep that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Fournette, a first down carry. Ugh. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. To throw, we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Pass the 20. I see you in the end zone, son. Back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. But Charles, he was looking for just a short throw, kept it in range for the rare linebacker pick six. And give him full credit for his focus. He just kept the quarterback in his sights, and where he was looking to throw, he positioned himself perfectly to be there for the interception. Uh. He made the play of the game for his defense right there. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Amir Smith Marset now from his end zone. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And we'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. Oh, come on, get that one too. With a good chunk of time on the clock. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Under four to go now as they come up on second down. My 52, my 52. Not today, you are. Not today. Wait, that. They go play Get action. Him. Cousins. Soup. Let's go. This was one and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Demarius Randall. And the Cowboys are going to take possession of the football. 
Well, time, I mean, certainly not on their side offensively. They had to take some chances, but that interception will further hinder their already slim chance at victory. Yeah, and you're talking about time not on their side, but it certainly is on the defense's side, and they understood okay, that. They knew they had to press it a little bit, and they planned accordingly. And what a benefit for them, able to pick that one off and hopefully put this game away. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. I'm going to open up something here. Okay, here we go. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 48 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Let's go. Tevin Coleman, his seventh rushing touchdown of the year. And the Cowboys add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Let's get two more points here. They'll try and run it in with Coleman. And he is into the right. end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. We'll make up for that missed extra point. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From the end zone is Smith Marset. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Jacksonville like offense. Like the pass to too out of these little drive. small packages. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but. The self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that right room there. and watch Surprise every still running. made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think run about out or how to put this behind us and get better for the next time out. This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation that again. Win. Second down, back to Fournette. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal game. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Cousins. Oh. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Jaguars. Curtis Samuel, his first touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. You gotta understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they have the three score lead. Now it's down to two, but three score lead here late. That they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. 
Here's the Jaguar kick team now as they run up and send this one away. It's a squib kick fielded just inside the 20. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. All right. Let's just run this clock out here. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Oh, good run. Let's go. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 73 yards on the ground here for Mack. He's got a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Oh, no. He punched it out. There he goes right side. Dang. This one back, a fumble return for a Jacksonville score. This defense, Charles, they needed some type of a spark to help get them back in this game. I think they just got their spark. No doubt about it. You know, that's all they discussed. How can we get ourselves moving again? How can we get our team going? This definitely qualifies. The extra point up and good. Shit. Now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So with under 30 seconds to play, He's making this a is the comeback. game right here. They try to steal it from us in the last seconds here. And the Cowboys are going to secure the football, and with it, they'll just about secure the victory. Coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Hold on to game. the ball, boy. Hold on to the ball, son. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can back the ball. It's a pickup of five, and that should just about wrap this one up. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Let's run it one more time here. a handoff to Coleman and he'll get this one down to about the 17 a gain of three second down and a timeout right comes there. in the whistle let's kick the field goal seconds remaining He fought back. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to swell the He fought back six. all the way to the last seconds. And his kick is indeed good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. 
they get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. 93 passing. Crowd, kept their heads and executed 161 the on the ground. To Took the win. ball away three times. So for Dallas, they continue to make their case as a, a Super Bowl favorite. 6.3 yard average. 13 and 1. And they'll return home next week to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Meanwhile, for the Jaguars, their playoff hopes take a hit as they drop to 7-7. Seven and seven. And they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at MetLife Stadium with the New York Jets. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gunn. Oof. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. What a game. Who's trying to steal that from us? That fumble that he punched out and ran back for a touchdown. That was nice. He returned the favor. I punched it out on him and got it. I mean, he punched it out and took it to the house. So Much props to him. That was a good game. He fought back. I thought we had that locked. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Drop a like. Subscribe if you're new here. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.